Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power to come on now the podcast where we talk facts over feelings. Let's jump right in on this. It has been done. Christy Sides, Indiana Fever, former head coach, as it was announced that Christy Sides has been fired. That's right. The, the, the move has been made. Christy Sides has been fired. She had the privilege of coaching Caitlin Clark this season, the number one pick in the draft, and did so many things early on to ruin that opportunity. She failed in so many ways. Defensively, she's supposed to be a great defensive coach. Their team played awful defense. Rotation-wise, questionable all the time. Just a real messy situation in Indiana, despite the fact they actually went 20 and 20, went 500, made the playoffs in large part because of the one and only Caitlin Clark. But it is now official. Christy Sides is no longer the head coach of the Indiana Fever. So Christy Sides was the coach of the Fever for two years. She went 33 and 47 Look, when she showed she couldn't operate with Caitlin Clark in the first half of the year, and she showed this inability to make moves and adjust, the writing was on the wall from early on in the season. And then you watch them as they played well offensively, but defensively struggled all season. A, a coach who's supposed to be a, a defensive whiz. Started off the season at 1-8. Third best record from June 1st to September 10th, getting going 18 and 9. One coach of the month because in Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell were balling out. And I and I mean, let's be real, they lost some games down the stretch that they shouldn't have lost. And um, and I mean, throughout the season that they shouldn't have lost. But end of the day, there is no more Christy sides. We will see a new fresh face. Um, running the show. And of course, that means that you know that the Indiana Fever probably already have their next coach. I don't think Indiana would have fired Christy Sides without having confirmation of who their next coach was going to be. And I think that will more than likely be the current Connecticut coach, Stephanie White. It seems like it makes sense that Stephanie White would be the next coach as... She just led the Connecticut Sun to the WNBA semifinals. You have a new president of basketball operations. You have a new general manager. It was just a matter of time before Christy Sides was shown the door. And there are many people that thought that when Kelly Crosskoff had her press conference that, oh, well, Christy Sides was, were stuck with, the, the favor would be stuck with her. And I, I was of the opinion that it was just a matter of when. I thought it would be. I thought it would take about two weeks. It took probably, I think, closer to four, from when the, the GM, the new GM, was named. Hey, right now the Indiana Fever have to resign Kelsey Mitchell. They have to figure out who they're going to draft. They got to see who they're going for in free agency, who they're dropping, <laughs> in terms of letting them go in the expansion draft. And I would think that it's a very important component that you have a, a new coach in place prior to those decisions. I don't know if those decisions have been made, but this just shows you the, 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 the league level that six of 12 coaches were fired. Six out of 12. And another one who just went to the semis is probably going to be on her way out to a new team. I thought I think Christy Sides is the worst basketball coach I've seen. She's awful. She's just, I mean, their inability to adjust, her inability to create opportunity for Caitlin Clark, her her desire to shut down Clark early on this season and, and play this slow paced tempo basketball when you have a, a a a beast of a quarterback at point guard. Like you have to know your talent. And under Christie's size, I think that you saw someone who just has no ability to adjust. She might be a great assistant coach, but she's not a great head coach. In fact, she's a terrible head coach. Um, 
it seemed like as the season went on, the they went further and further away from what was working. Um, the pick and roll with uh, Caitlin Clark to Aaliyah Boston, which was working easily, you know, for a good portion of the season, they stopped using it. Don't know really why. Don't know why, you know, how you had Nelissa Smith starting. Don't know why she wasn't benched. Don't know why Lexi Hall was basically a bench warmer for the first 10 to 15 games. Don't know why she put Katie Lou Samuelson in situations. There's so many don't know whys with Christy Sides that you sit here like, what are you doing? What are you doing? But thankfully, thankfully, Indiana Fever fans will not have to watch her coach another game. Because I don't think there's a person on earth that thought that Christy Sides did a good job with this team. Too much talent on this team. And what I mean by talent, I mean offensive weapons. Namely, you have a three-headed monster that should be competing at a very high level. And then you figure out how to make the rest of it work. But when you're never playing certain players, you, you, you know, you're not giving people opportunity. And you're out there with Melissa Smith, who was a double agent for the Connecticut Sun. Yeah, it, it was time for Christy Sides to go. So, yeah, I, I, I right now, I would think that Stephanie White is the person that they have a deal. I would think they have a deal in place with her because I think it would be utterly foolish to fire Christy Sides without having someone in place. You have Caitlin Clark. You have the most electric most watch must watch see tv in women's basketball on your team there'll be coaches that will be knocking down the door to coach caitlin clark so it would shock me if stephanie white wasn't named head coach in the next few days shock me this is my feeling on it what does this mean for the indiana fever it means you're going to see a different style of ball next year but you're going to see a different style of ball in a variety of ways. You're not going to be you're not going to be hearing paint touches as Ben Daniels says, paint touches, paint touches, paint touches. <laughs> you're not going to be hearing that. You're not going to be hearing certain. You're you're going to be you're going to see a more focused up, approach offensively, where if you're going to run, you're going to run. Like th- th- this this stuff where you, you you get the lead running and then you slow down. You're going to see. Um, adjustments defensively they're not going to just play man-to-man defense they have to play his own defense there'll be mixtures you have to mix things in you have to find ways to get caitlin clark off the ball a little bit where she's not being banged the whole damn game you have to find a way to to get her open you have to find a way to actually coach caitlin clark to get her to that point where when she gets rid of the ball that she just doesn't stand 30 feet from the basket you have to make a concerted effort to work with her to get her to take more uh, mid-range jump shots, not just 30-footers. Because at times, the 30-footer was Caitlin Clark's kryptonite. Even though she can make it, she wasn't making them at a high percentage this year. And, and it's never a really a high, a high percentage shot. But at the same time, you can turn that into a pump fake, a few dribbles in, 17-footer. I think you're going to see a lot of differences offensively because if you look at the Connecticut Sun, I don't think the Connecticut Sun were some t- talent-loaded team. Like, they didn't come across as some talent-loaded team. They came across like a, a gritty, grimy, you know, type of squad. And I think you might see a little bit more of that with Indiana defensively because they're going to have to play better defense to advance in the playoffs. The defense has to be better. It cannot be giving up 85 points a game. Like, that's just, you're not going to win. You're not going to win consistently with giving up 85 points a game. So there's going to be a a, definitely an approach to defense. I think that you'll see that as different. Um, But I think you also have to check out who you're getting as a free agent. What free agent will will they bring in? And and that will make a, a huge, that's a huge thing for them. But man, oh man, oh man, Christie's size is gone. She is out the door. She still had two seasons remaining on her contract, which means they have someone in place. Yeah, 
Offensively, they played a lot better in the second half. No question. That was in large part because of Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Kelsey Mitchell just going off. Because I never saw anything different from that from this from the coaching on this team. At no point did you ever look at anything with Christie's eyes and be like, Jesus Christ, the queen of never taking timeouts. Just letting games get blown out of proportion and blown out of hand because you don't call a timeout. It's crazy. Never seen a coach not call timeouts. Like she, like Christy Sides doesn't call timeouts. Watching leads go from two to 15 in a blink of an eye without a timeout. Kelly Crossboff, president of the, of the Fever, said, we are incredibly thankful to Coach Sides for embracing the challenge of leading us through an integral transition period over the last two seasons while also positioning us for future growth. While decisions like this are ne- these are never easy, it is also imperative that we remain bold and assertive in the pursuit of our goals, which includes maximizing our talent and bringing another WNBA championship back to Indiana. Coach Sides was an excellent representative of the Fever and our community, and we wish her nothing but success in the future. Yeah. Good luck, Christy. I don't know what's going to happen with Christy's size. I mean, it, I, it, I'm sure she'll end up as an assistant somewhere um, this season. I can't imagine one of those five other teams who have a head coaching vacancy would hire Christy sides. But you never know. You never know. But I'm just glad she will not be on the sideline of the Indiana Fever next year. And there will be a fresh face who is going to utilize Caitlin Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, Aaliyah Boston, and get them and maximize their skills because you have weapons. Now, you have to play defense, but you also have to know that you have some bench players that didn't get an opportunity last year, and we don't really you, – you, you, you don't know why because there were players that we thought all year. I mean, when, when like the one player – um. You know, they have the player that they cut who was a defensive player who never played, but the team doesn't play any defense. Can't remember her name off the top of my head. I'm sorry. So <laughs> sorry about that. Um, we shall see. We shall see. But that's all I got for now. Uh, I will look, I'm will i looking to see if uh, Ben and I are going to jump on later on this evening. Maybe we do. And uh, shoot, the sh- shoot the shit and have a good time and have celebrate the dismissal of Christy Sides. That's all I got for now. Facts of our feelings. Come on now.